All right, now you have a Google Sheet with the company information that we're gonna be using for TypeBot. You've cleaned it up a bit by using the query function to pull in only the columns of data that's gonna be useful for us. And now the next step is to connect the Google Sheets API over with TypeBot. To do that, go to your favorite search engine, type in Google Cloud Console, and select one of these top results. Create a new project. I'll call this Google Sheets API test. Pick a location if you want, and then click on Create. Next, let's head over to that newly created project. You can go down here, or we can just select it from this dropdown list. Next, let's go to API and Services and go over to Enabled APIs and Services. We don't have any APIs at the moment, so let's go over to Enable APIs and Services. You can search for Google Sheets API or just scroll down to the bottom and it should be right down here. Let's go ahead and enable. And next, let's create our credentials. We'll need to create a service account, so let's select application data. And we're not gonna be using any of these things up here, so let's select no and click on next. Fill out the service account name and then create your service account ID. And as you can see down here, this is going to be prepended to the email that we're gonna need a little bit later. And the rest of the information is optional, so let's go ahead and click on done. All right, it looks like our API has successfully initiated, so let's head over to credentials. We have our service account email that we're gonna need a bit later. So the next thing we need to do is create an API key. So let's go back to create credentials and select API key. It automatically gets created for you. And if you ever need to refer back to it, which you probably will, you can just go down here and show your key. So next we need to create a new Google Sheet. So you can just type in your browser sheets.new. A new Google Sheets workbook gets created. So next, give it a name. And next we're going to add the service account email that we just created to share with this workbook. If you're finding this video useful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. So go back to your Google Cloud console and copy your email down here. Head back to your workbook and click on share and paste in your email right in here. Click send. We're not done just quite yet. So let's head back to share. And then for general access, we need to move this from restricted over to anyone with the link and click on done. As a quick sidebar, if you're dealing with sensitive information, then this probably isn't the best route for you because anyone with the link can see the contents of your workbook. All right, the next thing that we need to do is copy the URL of this workbook. I opened up my editor for this, and then we need to swap out some information. So here is the URL that we're gonna be using to connect over to the Google Sheets API. And then we'll be inserting our information within these placeholders that you see here. So first, let's take the ID from the spreadsheet and put it in here. Next, let's put in the sheet name. So if you go back to your workbook, it's going to be the name of this worksheet that you see down here. So I'll enter sheet one. And next, let's replace this API key placeholder. Go back to the Google Cloud Console and let's go ahead and copy our API key that you see here. And let's go ahead and paste that in. So to test this out, let's go ahead and copy our new link, go back to our spreadsheet, and let's put in some dummy data in here. And next, let's open up a new tab, paste in the URL, and you can see that it's working properly. You can see the two different values that I put as placeholders in the spreadsheet of compay, which I misspelled, and email. And going back, you can see that it lines up. And now the last thing that we need to do to make the connection from our Google Sheets workbook over to TypeBot is to create a new block called the webhook or otherwise known as the API block. And that's what I've done here in this demo. Paste in your URL, turn on the advanced configuration, and then we're going to select the get method. And finally, let's make sure this is working properly. So let's click on test a request. All right, we see the data that we expect to come into TypeBot. And now if I make any edits to this worksheet or make some other modifications like enter new data and then head back to do another test request, you can see that the data gets updated in real time. And now the next step is to set up the logic and conditionals 
so that our type bot can look up the zip code information and then based off of that zip code, find the top 10 vendors or contractors. And then from there, grab the emails so that the user can then send in bulk requests for quotes from each vendor. I'll show you how to get started with that in the next video.